on Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, visual satellite showing a couple of different things than what we saw the last couple of days. The clouds were still there this morning. Lots of sunshine this afternoon, but I want to draw your attention to where the marine layer clouds are hanging out along the coastline. Let's go full screen there, guys, and I'll jump out on the wall and show you the big difference. Remember yesterday, day before, where were they coming in from? From the south coast, right? So we had everything going pushing north up the coastline. Look at the direction today. They're all going from north to south, an indication that we're starting to get a little mini ridge of high pressure building just offshore, and that will start to crank the heat up just a bit for us as we headed towards Saturday's forecast. Speaking of, if you're headed out to Autzen, all the uh, volunteer fans watching us, welcome to Eugene. Uh, temperatures will be in the upper 60s, and again, being from, uh, or not being, living in the south for a couple years like it did, trust me, it's going to be a great forecast for a game tomorrow. Not a lot of humidity, at least around these parts anyway. We'll see kickoff temperatures right around 70. 77, 78 degrees. It's going to be warm by the second half, though. Expect temperatures to be in the mid 80s and likely climbing after that as we get into the late afternoon. Meanwhile, we're starting to see the outer bands from the next low that is going to make an, or put an end, I should say, to this uh, warm forecast. Already getting a little closer to us. We've still got a good window of time, basically about the next 24 hours before that will start moving across parts of western Oregon. Meanwhile, we're still watching that big upper level low produce a chance for some thunderstorms across parts of Salt Lake. Beaver fans headed over to watch the beeves take on the Utes for tomorrow. We'll be dealing with some thunderstorms on and off throughout the day. And we'll see the fog settle back into the valleys at late night tonight. This is likely just again right before dawn. A couple hours into the morning should break up pretty quickly and the temperatures will be in the mid 50s. 74 in Portland today really battled the thicker cloud cover most of the afternoon. Meanwhile, the further south you got down the I-5, things cleared out quickly, warmed up just as well. Um, in spots too. Roseburg at 89, 97 in Medford, 85 in Redmond, and a pretty comfortable 80 and 82 degrees in Corvallis and Eugene, respectively. Now, a little cooler in Corvallis right now. They're sitting in the low 70s. We've got 81 still in Eugene, 79 in Cottage Grove, 79 in Bend, and around 88 towards Roseburg. So I'm going to step out of the way and show you where that low is. And basically, it's going to continue to track northeastward as this high sort of drifts over and east into the Rockies, and that's going to bring back a much stormier forecast and could see some stronger thunderstorms storms as well across parts of the uh, valley foothills and up into the Cascades by the afternoon and then fall starts to move back into the seven day forecast. We could be looking at our first big fall storm and maybe even dropping snow levels down to maybe 7,000 feet or so by next week. So partly sunny at the coast. We'll see the temperatures there sitting in the mid 60s tomorrow. A little warmer down to the south coast and then scattered showers on Sunday and a chance thereof pretty much each and every day for Monday, Tuesday. A bit of a break by midweek. In the Umpqua Basin, temperatures warm again back into the 90s tomorrow. Upper 70s by Sunday and low 70s. Look at that by next Tuesday. In the Cascades, mostly sunny for tomorrow. Thunderstorms will fire through there on Sunday and could wrap around through Monday. Bend and Redmond, a hot day again tomorrow. Big temperature drop, 60s on the board by Tuesday. And then finally in the Valley, we'll see the temperature is right around 88 to 89 degrees. So warm one tomorrow, guys. And then uh, look at the bottom kind of drop out. We'll get a quick bump by Wednesday and Thursday. But I'm telling you, by this time next week, could be looking at our first big storm. Wind, rain, high elevation snow, not out of the question. Here goes wow. nothing. And those, right. and those trees are still full of leaves, leaves and, and, and stuff. Wow. You got it. Cheerleaders.